Hey guys, welcome to another episode from Stacy Here We Grow Again. Today I just wanted to do a little update on my radishes. So we're growing really nice early globe radishes and they are done. I have like two that are done. So this is how you know your radishes are done. You see how far this is sticking out of the soil? Half this radish has already developed and started sticking out. Now, let me see an underdeveloped radish. This one is not developed yet, so you can see it's starting to stand straight up on its own. Now, radish will usually grow to the side like this. You can see how it's off to the side when it's in the early stages. It hasn't grown that fruit on the stem yet. So this is where that fruit grows, this red piece. And I like to keep that as covered as possible, but these usually stand up and just grow on their own. You can see these are starting to stand up. So we're starting to grow a radish. It's gonna start fattening up. And then the next stage of radishes is this big, big globe. And what you wanna do to pick these, this is definitely ready. You just wanna wiggle it back and forth and pull up. And that's it, guys. There's no cracking on this radish. This is beautiful, actually. This is so pretty. I'm harvesting some peas also from the garden. One of these pods were so dried out, like this one on the vine, so I picked some. So we got this nice radish to put in our salad, and if you let them go, they'll get a little bigger. So once they start popping out like this guy, you can see he's not really that big. Like, look at him, and hes I think he's cracking a little bit maybe, because this is a little dry. See, our weather, we got like cold for a little while, a week or so, and now we're back up to 86. So these radishes are going to start getting a little spicy and a little, um, uh, what do you call it, dehydrated. And these radishes really pinch you. They have like pinchies on their stem, so be careful. But this one you can even pick. I mean, you can pick them as small as you want or as big as you want. And I'm going to pick this because I don't want it to crack and it looks pretty good. This one looks better though. Look at this nice radish. That is what you want. A nice, nice clean radish and the rest aren't ready yet guys so we're gonna let these little guys grow some more and I want to show you some more over on the other side of the garden I'm so happy we got these cool radishes to eat I want to show you that these are starting to get big too check them out so they're starting to pop out you see how they're sticking up out of the soil so this little guy is almost ready I mean you can pick him that's fine but he's definitely gonna grow some more so look at that size compared to this size. You can see how big this is, it's perfectly round. They should be in a circle, that's how they should grow. And I just can't wait to eat this. It's just the first, second radish of the season and it's just so beautiful. These are gonna be ready right behind it. You can see how they're starting to stick up on their own and they'll start growing that produce out of the ends. This is what we picked, so we'll keep these here. I love that. It's so pretty, isn't it? We have another one growing right back here. You can see it's starting to stand up and grow this radish right on the end here. So we're doing good, guys. My peas are still producing. They're getting big along the fence. My other green beans are still producing, believe it or not. And these radishes are just getting big. So we're going to wait for these to grow, and we're actually going to plant some more up. This way, when these are done... I have more to come. So this is a little small. You can see how small these are sticking out of the soil compared to how much that one was sticking out. It like literally pops itself out of the soil. So you wanna wait till they get a lot bigger than that. We, we got about a week left. You can see they're all starting to pop up though. So I wanna start planting some more radishes because radishes take like between 20 and 30 days for you to harvest them from planting. So I hope that helps you guys grow some radishes or produce of your own in your garden. Keep your plants healthy, you know, well watered, especially these radishes. They need lots and lots of water, guys, to survive and not crack because they will crack. And then if you grow them in, I got to see if these are going to be spicy because we've had crazy weather. It's been cold and then hot, cold and hot. So these have been growing in really off weather. I got to see if these are going to be spicy or not spicy because they get spicy in the hot weather. If you grow radishes in the cooler weather, they stay on the less spicy side. They're more sweet than anything. Cooked up, they're great. I hope that helps you guys in the best way possible to grow radishes or anything in your garden. Please remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more to come. From Stacy. here we grow again. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.